everybody, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, folks, my next guest tonight is a Newbery Medal-winning author and an Emmy-winning producer. His latest book is an anthology of black poets called This is the Honey. Please welcome Kwame Alexander. Thanks so much for coming on. I'm very excited about this. I love poetry, I love poets, and I don't get to talk to them as often as I would like. Uh, let me tell the people a little bit about you. You're a New York Times bestselling author, a Newbery Medal winner, and now you can add Emmy to that list of achievements for the show, The Crossover, based on your novel, recently won an Emmy for Outstanding Young Teen Series. You've enjoyed it, I understand. So look, somebody asked me, was this a dream come true? And I was like, no, because it wasn't even a dream. I'm a poet who won an Emmy. Well, I mean, you, you have been you have been having some fun with it. Here you are with your Emmy, taking the Emmy up into the cockpit of a plane. Yep, yep. You're just using this as like a you know, get in anywhere I want card. Yeah. Here you are introducing your Emmy to the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> and here you are sharing your Emmy with a Bobby in front of Buckingham Palace. So she's getting around. Well, the You're deal was the tour. Yeah, I mean, so librarians, teachers, yep. students, yep. they made this book a reality. They made a TV series possible. So I wanted to show some love. So I'm taking the Emmy everywhere. I've got it in the green room in the back. This is, <laughs> that's awfully nice. This is like your 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 version of a flat Stanley. Exactly. Taking it everywhere. Exactly. Um, now, uh, when when you talk about uh, your love of the written word, right. You often say, poetry saved me. Sure. And I can, uh, I can dig it, Daddy-O, because <laughs> poetry saved me in my own way and still continues to in many ways. How did it save you? Well, I mean, for one, I wasn't very cool. I didn't get cool till very recently. <laughs> but... <laughs> the Emmy. The Emmy, the Emmy. did it? Yeah. So there was this woman who I thought was pretty amazing. She was pretty fine in college, and I didn't know how to approach her. So I wrote her a poem. I wrote her a poem every day for one year. Um, yeah. That's and, either gonna work out great or restraining order. Well, I mean, <laughs> lips like yours ought to be worshiped. See, I ain't never been too religious, but you can baptize me anytime. <laughs> and Wow. Not only did this woman marry me, but she helped me understand how to become a better businessman, how to become a better son, ultimately how to become a better man. So it saved me um, in, in terms of helping me become a better human being. Mm. Well, Robert Frost says that his, when he writing poetry, it started with a lump in his throat. Where do you start? <laughs> so my mother, um, she passed away in 2017, but. Um, she used to say to me, Kwame, you never write poems about me. You're always writing about your father. And I was like, Mom, we write about the people who bring us grief. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you know, I love you. You're, you're like, the, you're, you're the joy of my life. And mm -hmm. so, of course, you know, she passed away. So I, um, you know, I've written quite a few poems about her. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, it starts with that uncertainty, it starts with that, that fear, it starts with that not knowing and just, um, and wanting to feel better. Mm. And poetry lets you look at that thing? It lets you look at it, it lets, it lets it be digestible, it lets you, it lets you feel better. I think ultimately for, po for me, poetry is the thing that helps us all feel better. And I think, you know, black poets in America particularly, mm -hmm. we have a way of being, we've been through a lot, black people in America. Mm -hmm. And I think black poets in particular have a way of being able to show us that, you know, like Langston Hughes said, folks, birthing is hard and dying is mean, so why not get yourself a little loving in between? <laughs> like, and so, yeah. Well, the book is called This is the Honey. It's a yeah. collection of contemporary black poets. Yeah. Um, it, in one, of the, one, of, one of your poems, um, uh, are you in here? I am in there. Okay. Yeah. Is is how we made you mm -hmm. in here? Yeah. Would you mind? I'd, I'd love to go out. Um, this is a wonderful collection of poets. I I recommend everybody to go get it. 
but I'd love if you could read the people your poem here uh, called How We Made You. Sure, sure. My, um, um, I've been married for 24 years and, and my wife and I are separated and I wanted my daughters, um, my two beautiful daughters to know that, you know, it's not the, the divorce or it's, it's, that's not the thing that defined us or them, that it's not the storm, that perhaps there was a rainbow and I want them to focus on the good and, and I think Stephanie and I do that to a certain degree. And this is a piece that I wrote about that. In the future, when you're newly married and the two of you are half hanging off your bed, fingers playing in each other's locks, your legs braided, loud garbage trucks beeping outdoors, no whining children yet to cook for, and you're talking about leaving your job or whose family to visit for Christmas or how lucky you are to be loved like this or whatever it is you talk about after making love in the early morning, I want you to know that before our uncoupling, your mother and I used to work the door at a jazz club in Washington, D.C. And every Thursday night, we'd stand at the entrance collecting covers, greeting friends and regulars, feeding each other jerk wings, kissing the hot sauce from our lips, joking and laughing about this and that, holding each other when it got chilly. And later, when we get back to our one-room apartment on the other side of the bridge, we'd spread our money out on the bed, count our hall, smile if we could pay the rent, worry if we couldn't, and then we'd make our own music. And without fail, the woman next door would bang on the walls <laughs> and tell us to turn it down. But we wouldn't, because we couldn't, because we knew how lucky we were to be loved like that. This is The Honey is available now. Kwame Alexander, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Ashake.